This is how to make a narcissist want to commit suicide because he regrets being mean to you. Anybody who has ever been around a narcissist knows how hard it can be to deal with them. The smartest people in this group know how to trick and force others to do what they want. Don't worry though, there are ways to make them feel bad about all the bad things they've done to you. Maybe it's not as scary as you think, but you will need to plan ahead in a smart way. Without further ado, here are 10 strong ways to make a narcissist feel bad about what they did. First and foremost, take advantage of the chance to live your best life without them around. To really make a narcissist feel bad about what they've done, start by living a life that does well without them. Gather around you people who truly care about you, see you for who you are, and want to see you grow. Don't forget that you are the main character in your own story and not just a supporting character in someone else's flawed story. Get rid of any shame that's still bothering you and do things that make you happy. Have fun on trips with your friends, get lost in nature and watch movies that make you think. Accept that what they can't give you is not what you deserve. You deserve happiness, satisfaction and freedom. Stop and take a deep breath. This knowledge will help you live your best life without their shade over you. Second, try to become a better person than them. Narcissists are very good at pretending to be kind and understanding, but their true motives are always selfish, manipulative and heartless. Their only goal is to get what they want, even if it hurts other people along the way. If you want them to feel bad about what they did, try to be better than them in every way. Show them how to be kind, empathetic and genuinely concerned about other people and you will rise above their harmful behaviour. By constantly showing these traits, you rob them of the power they're after and show how useless they really are. Do not forget that you cannot always be perfect. Instead, Think about how the experience has made you better and smarter. The third important tip is to always stand up for yourself. Standing up for yourself is the best way to make a liar feel bad about what they did. Narcissists like being in charge and in charge of others. So when you stand up to their oppression, they have to think about how they're acting. Watch out for how they try to trick you into thinking that you are the problem and they are the helpless victim. Keep an eye out for them and don't fall into their web of lies. Getting rid of someone who constantly puts you down or makes fun of you is a good idea. Don't let them treat you badly just because they can't find anyone else who will put up with their disgusting behaviour. If someone isn't respectful and kind, you shouldn't be loyal to or friends with them. The fourth basic rule is to be sure of yourself and stand on your own. If you want to make a narcissist truly regret their actions, you must have complete faith in yourself and your skills. When you have unshakable confidence, it's hard for other people to put you down or make you doubt your worth. In no way should you become cocky. Rather, it means that no matter how hard someone tries to put you down, their attempts will fail before they reach your heart. Their failed tries will make them feel bad about the harm they caused. Also, it's important to learn how to be self-sufficient and not depend on other people for approval or happiness. Narcissists try to trick you into thinking that you need them by being dishonest. In fact, though, you are a separate being that can find happiness and fulfillment without their controlling presence. Taking care of yourself is the fifth key tip. You have been through lies, cheating and being manipulated on your road. It's normal to feel hurt and angry, but it's important not to let those feelings take over your life. Putting self-care first is an important way to get a narcissist to feel bad about what they've done. Even when a narcissist is hurting you, it can be hard to keep an upbeat attitude. In any case, it is possible. Taking care of yourself is one of the most important things you need to do. This includes giving your body healthy food, working out regularly and making sure you get enough rest. Do something nice for yourself 
like getting a massage or going for a peaceful walk in the woods. Spend time with people you care about who will always be there for you and who truly care about your well-being. When you spend a lot of time doing things that make you happy and are good for your physical and mental health, narcissists will find it harder and harder to control you. You can take back your power and break free from their control by putting your needs first and taking care of your own health. We've reached the sixth tip. Never say sorry to a narcissist again. As experts at manipulating people, narcissists know how to make you feel guilty and like you're in the wrong. If you've ever said sorry to a narcissist, you know how well they can twist your words and change the truth, making you doubt your own worth. It is important to remember, though, that narcissists are not the ones who are hurt in this situation. They are responsible for the harm they caused, so they need to be held responsible. When they try to make you feel bad about yourself again, don't say sorry or give a reason. Giving up control of your life by saying sorry for things that weren't wrong or not speaking up when you're being abused gives them power over you and lets them keep it. Number seven, enjoy the silence and forget about them. If you want a narcissist to change their mind about what they did to you, give them the silent treatment and ignore them totally. If you can't stand being around them, stay away from them. Take time to take care of your own needs and put effort into making your relationships with loving family and friends better. It's important to spend time with people who make you feel good and stay away from people who bring you down. When the narcissist sees that you are not reacting to their behavior, they will think about the mistakes they have made and how lonely they are now without you. This mental turmoil will tear them apart, which could make them ask for your forgiveness sooner than you thought. Number eight, to get a narcissist to feel bad, you need to be strong and focused all the time. It's important to keep your mental strength, even if their actions make you angry or sad. Giving a narcissist information about your weakness makes them want to hurt you more. Instead, put your energy into things that will make you happy and help you grow as a person. People who are narcissists want power and control, but you should not give it to them. Take your mind off of their negative impact and only think about making your life reflect who you really are. Number nine, don't give them praise or flattery. Instead, point out their flaws and mistakes. Flattery makes the narcissist feel good about themselves and supports what they do. Take away what they want to make them feel guilty about what they did. Don't boost their ego by complimenting them. Instead, point out and highlight their flaws and mistakes. This disturbing truth will make them feel unsafe, which will make being around you uncomfortable. Do not give up on your resolve if they keep using cunning behavior. Stop letting them control you by not letting their impact change how you see yourself. Tenth, don't give in to their requests or expectations. Narcissists love to control and manipulate others, and they will keep putting pressure on you to change into someone they want you to be. You should stand tall and firm when a narcissist corners you, and their relentless chase leaves no room for refusal. Don't let anyone force you to give in. Keep your firm attitude and don't let them control the choices you make. If someone is persistently looking for something you can't give them, you should handle it with grace by politely but definitely letting them know you're not interested. Stay firm in your choice and don't give in to their pressure. It takes selflessness to set healthy limits because they are good for everyone. Make these limits clear and stress how important they are to your personal growth and well-being. If the other person doesn't respect your boundaries, you can end the talk and leave the situation. You are not required to give a reason or explanation for your choice. You can make them feel bad about their bad behavior by being strong in your refusal to give in to their demands and expectations. Remember that no one should have to go through abuse or neglect and if they do, it is very important to keep your hope up and look for better options. 
When you use these powerful techniques, you can make a narcissist feel bad about what they did to you. Take charge of your life and put your own health and happiness first. Do not let them back into your life to hurt you more. If you thought this video was interesting, please leave a comment below. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing to our channel as it helps us keep making useful videos.